Okay, this is the 2011 BMW 328i. Like I said, this car right here, I just drove it down to the post office. They had to make some shirts. This car is, it's got a lot of heat. It's naturally aspirated, no turbo. I got a turbo in mine. You know, I got the, uh, the twin power turbo in my 2019. This is naturally aspirated, no supercharger nor tober. But I would love to put a supercharger on this car. I think it can handle it. I mean, just giving it gas and, and getting it going, just thing will fly. This little car can fly. It's got the little carbon fiber lip on the back, just like my other one. I mean, it's got but the exhaust. It's got the big exhaust back here. Sounds pretty good. But man, this is a beautiful car. It's a 2011, 141,000 miles on this thing. Looks brand new. Let's see. I mean, it's got the bright white interior. I mean, it's black interior, but it's got these bright white lights everywhere. You know, big old amplifier back here because it's got subs in the trunk. Don't know why he did that. Put an amp in the back. That amp is taking up the whole floorboard. It's a pretty big amp. But I mean, the lights inside are really bright white. Really bright white lights, like brighter than my 2019. And you know, this thing, I mean, it's super clean in here. I got to get new BMW mats, but it's super clean. It's got the drink holders in here. You got one there. You got one here. You push it in. Drink holder comes out, just like with that one. You can click that in. You can push it back out. Pretty, pretty nice. My drink holders are down here, but yeah, and these I got the um. Here's the key here. You put the key inside of there. Then you hit this. Now the car is started. Oh yeah, turn the lights on. Look at that race red. And earlier when I was driving, the car had the uh. The, the low tire symbol up there. I just put air in the tire yesterday when I was parking it. There it is. Now it's back. Yeah, I put air in the tire yesterday. So I don't know if that thing has to re register or what has to happen. I don't know. But I love that race red look. That's like old school, man. I love that look. Whoops. That's me hitting the damn. Uh, they got a seat belt thing here. That where the seat belt it it comes and it goes and it retracts it pushes your seat belt up to you so you can grab it and then it retracts back when it's done let me see if i can show you how that works let's see if i can turn these lights on okay let's see something i'm gonna see. okay so i'm gonna open this door like this i'm gonna close it see that thing that right there it's retracted. It has the seat belt. So it's holding my seat belt so I can grab my seat belt without reaching all the way back. And then it retracts once you pull the seat belt around. Let's see if it'll do it. Hold up. Okay, I click the seat belt in. Now look, it retracts back. So that little, that's pretty cool. Like it pushes your seat belt up so you don't have to grab it. It's got the nice little silver on the dash, kind of like how my dash has. Cracked windshield. You see little cracks in the windshield, but all right let me see and i mean even the headlights got hid headlights like there's bright headlights let's let me show you what they look like i'm trying to give you a good rundown oh it even got the the light on the ground up under here okay i see you little beamer little 2011. this has got like the the hids got the big uh circles this one has circles mine's got lines that one has like two halos around it but you got the lights up under the door when you open the door and everything Sounds good. Listen to this. That sounds pretty good. I'm gonna let me hit it for you real quick so you can see how it sounds out here. Hold up. Oh yeah, that little thing will get up. This is the RPM there. <laughs> this little car is crazy. I like it though. A 2011, the same year as my Jeep. But like I said, my Jeep has 259,000 miles. This only has 141,000. So my Jeep, shh, run laps around this thing. This is this is a baby compared to my Jeep. Same year, but hey, my Jeep is killing it. All right, let's see if we can get this thing some gas. All right. You're going to hear how this thing sounds. It sounds pretty good. I like it. 
this little 2011 sounds pretty dope especially with that exhaust it makes me want to get an exhaust for my 19 but let's see and that's like barely going right there This thing is clean. Wait till I hit the street. When I hit the street, you're gonna be like, damn. Well, let me see something real quick. Well, I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna lock it right there so it stays focused. All right, let me get out of this parking lot real quick. Yeah, this thing, this little car can get up to be naturally aspirated, no turbo. Hold up. Ooh, this little car is fast. Holy smokes. This little thing can get down. Like I said, it's naturally aspirated. This is not turbo at all. No turbo. car can get i love it i love it yeah i mean it's a, i think it's too fast for a 16 year old honestly i never drove it and now i'm driving it and i'm like yeah my son this is a little bit much this is a 328i i think it's a yeah 328i i mean you barely touch the gas it wants to it wants to go and it's naturally aspirated it don't even have a supercharger yet i could add a supercharger add a turbo to it you know, I could actually keep this car and have fun with it, but I might sell it. I might sell it because I want to get my son a car. I really do. And I think this is a bit much right here. I mean, this little car goes to be, I don't know if it's a four cylinder or a six. I don't know. It feels like a six cylinder. It don't feel like a four cylinder. Cause I mean, this thing grabs is a 2011 328i. I'm gonna have to look it up to see if it's a V6. Cause this thing, it's got some heat to it. I was like, oh, I think it's a little four cylinder. <laughs> I don't think so. This thing gets up right here. But yeah, now I'm I'm back up now. Let me take this off. I think that's a Waymo right there across the street from me. Yeah, that's a Waymo sitting at the light right there. Look at that. You can tell. I can tell them a Waymos. Look at it. Got the little fucking radar dish on top and shit. Look at you, you little Waymo. Go, go, little Waymo. Then there's another one just went around the corner right there. I'm gonna catch you. Watch this. That's kind of. I gave it a little bit too much gas that time. This car kind of scares me, man. That shit was RPMing up around about 5,000. This car wants to go. Look at that. Look at that little baby Waymo. Look at it. Yeah, this thing, this is like a little race car. That that RPM was up around about 5,000. And I was like, oh yeah. So I got off the gas because this thing was trying to take off. I was like, man, this car is quick. BMWs are, woo. I don't know, man. But like I said, they're, they're fun little cars. You hit them. <laughs> that car wants to go. That was almost 5,500 RPM. I don't think my 19 goes that high. I think it'll it'll change before it even gets up that high. Cause I got a what an eight speed transmission in that thing. This thing, man, it's it'll wrap up. And you add a turbo to that or a supercharger to that with that much RPM. Oh, this thing's gonna be blowing. 5,500. With, with a supercharger running, my supercharger starts at about 2,500, you can feel it grabbing. 3,000 is grabbing real good. 5,500, this thing will be whining down the street. I don't know, man, it's, this car is something else. The, the fact that it can get up to 5,500 RPM, that means it, it'll be spinning. That's pushing a lot of exhaust, or it's, it's really spinning your, your supercharger. And for a 16 year old kid with a supercharged car, if I was to put a supercharger on this thing, yeah i mean it's not hard to do i did it to my jeep i got a whole video on my jeep wrangler showing how i put a supercharger on it i can do it but it's like man just putting one on this car shit this thing with the horsepower in this thing man that would be crazy crazy yeah well i'm almost back to my house now 
I know the dogs are like, where'd you go? I had to go run to the store real quick. But yep, here I am. Pulling up to the compound. Look at all, <laughs> look at all these damn cars. <laughs> look at that shit. That little, I like that little Mercedes though. That little Mercedes is slick right there. But yeah, let me go ahead and park this car right here. Get this shit out of the way. But appreciate you guys riding with me on that video. Hey, hey, hey. Man, like I said, we got to do something with all these cars around here. But in the meantime, oh, I'm going to drive this one. I like this little car. We're going to cruise in this little white car. I like this. There's another big work truck. We got a lot of work trucks around here, too. I love it. All right, there we go. Let's see how it sounds. This thing is bad. <laughs> I think I know why it's so fast. I didn't even realize this. I think this thing has the M package on it too. My BMW says the same thing. It's got the M package on it. It's got the M on the steering wheel too. Maybe that's why it runs the way it runs. Cause I'm like, this car is a little quick. This thing gets up. There we go. That's the reason why.